Welcome to WEC Full Access. Because of what happened in the start. Did and then, you see the guy hit me? Yeah, yeah, but he came like from three cars back and then locked up. Yeah, and then I was like, okay, yeah. well, let's just drive around, see what happened. It's so easy to overtake the cars. Okay. But you're like, uh, at least half a second quicker. Oh, yeah. yeah. How was the car though? How was the balance? Yeah, fine. A little bit under snow. At the beginning? Uh, the whole thing. Okay. To be fair, I was pushing pretty hard on the tires from lap one and didn't give up. So this race, this weekend in Fuji, uh, I wouldn't say was an absolute classic. It was uh, quite a clean race. We had no safety cars, no full course yellows, uh, a, a green light from start to finish today. And um, we saw, you know, a very high uh, average speed because of that from all of the cars, all of the drivers and teams. But that puts pressure on them to not falter not make any mistakes and those that did make mistakes, drivers or teams, they were punished because they couldn't regain those that lost time under a safety car, for example. Take here the Ferrari down the inside of Porsche 92 into turn one. He's being run out of road. The Porsche locks up. The Ferrari goes wide. They are not quite fast, but they just have a little more rear grip than us. That's what this is. Yeah, copy. we can do. I, I really want to know if this race ends without any skill or something. Nothing. Yeah. The only thing we can do is what we do. We try to get an advantage somehow, but now it's late anyway. So the GTE Pro race was, uh, again, it was quite close at the start. It's been the most convincing level of dominance, I feel, from Ferrari all season. They started the, the year a little bit off the pace, and that was a surprise. But here, they certainly were right on the pace, more so in their second stint. They were really good at looking after the tires, and Fuji is always a bit of a tire killer, not in terms of the wear, but just the degradation and the way it overheats the tires. So obviously, you can't go backing off in a race to to regenerate them, uh, but the Ferrari seemed to be a lot kinder on its tyres than, than anyone else around them. That 
was that was very tough dress, very tough. And marginal, marginal, marginal stuff. I mean, we we're really not that far off. Uh, I mean, all things considered. Sorry. All things considered, you know, he said it was like two tenths off on um, like average pace compared to the leader. So it's yeah. not. No, it's not. You know. And I didn't feel my first stint. I didn't really feel terrible. I just couldn't. I didn't have anything to like really attack and fight. You know. Yeah. But yeah. But, but that's the thing. Like, it's super easy to overdrive. Yeah, it's overdriving just know. nowhere. I if was you, doing that a lot. And then the window is like, if you back off, the car feels okay. Yeah. And then it's just the window between that that is super, super narrow. Yeah. It's not like this third sector. It's just like so slow, you're sliding all over. Yeah. There was a Toyota once in front of me. It was just <laughs> missing all the apex. <laughs> and it was funny because everyone on the same thing. It's better now again. Again, both mid corner and finish when you go on power, it goes, you know? And then track's better also now. Yeah, yeah. And like you said, the short line and the long ride yeah. is better. In the beginning, I was, uh, I was asking him, what is like, what should I do? But the others, they kept pushing. But then at the end, he was... And we had a few different strategies going on. The Prema car, for example, was always stopping a lap later than most around them. And then I think 38 reacted to that, but 31 just carried on hammering it every lap and using a lot more fuel, therefore stopping earlier. That unfolded at the end of the race where they had around a 30 second advantage over the 38. It meant they stopped a lot longer to put a lot more fuel in the car, whereas Will Stevens was going a lot longer on fuel. They only stopped with three minutes to go. And when he came out of the pits, it was, it was a bit tighter than, um, than what 31 wanted it to be, so it was around six or seven seconds was the gap. I go in, I go in here. I know the, the grip. He knew the grip. He yeah. knew well the grip. Yeah. Yeah. I, knew, I know even more. <laughs> You're coming to the podium? Yes. Oh. Did you bring a ring jersey? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? We only see each other when we go to the podium. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True. No. Never do that again. Yeah. I don't want to be here. Your, your pace. <laughs> <laughs> you come once, you win. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Such a waiting race with no full course yellow. It's not, it's not much fun when you just yeah, have to wait just and wait you're and too and slow. You don't see even the other guy. They have a gap and they wait around and keep the gap. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Hello. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Arigato. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good team. Yes, uh, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Uh, but yeah. I have to say, all the race was uh, you have no safety car, no full grass yellow, no slow zone, nothing. It's very clean. Very, very clean Green from all the team. Eh? Okay. Only some small contact, but no real uh, big damage. That's so really, uh, it's quite, uh, quite nice. So then you have to come now to Bahrain as well. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Access every Friday on YouTube.